morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to Channel 48. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here with the Noble ROM 2 Android 12, uh, Samsung ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the rest of the family, Note 9 and the S9 Plus. Uh, this development is by Alexis XDA. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna show you how to install it and you can have an idea of how you should do this. Um, and I will try to explain it as good as I can. So welcome again to channel 40. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Buck Darlington and sit back, relax on this beautiful Wednesday morning, get your breakfast and let's check out the installing of the Noble ROM 2 Android 12 One UI 4 for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and family. Okay, peeps, welcome back. We're gonna put the phone into a recovery mode and check the selections that I'm uh, selecting before wiping. Of course, we're gonna format this phone. We're gonna first type yes here in format data. And uh, after that, we're gonna go ahead and as well wipe ODM uh, and, and Fender, and etc. All right, and then when that is done, we're gonna reboot back into recovery. There we go, recovery. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and install the ROM. We will have to copy the ROM first to the internal of the phone, okay? The MTP works good. As you can see, I can connect uh, to the device after it will be found. There it is, the internal. And this will be a full clean install. And I will grab the three gigabyte file from my D drive, copy it straight to the internal of the device. After the file is copied, we will be able to install this ROM. Okay, Midoki, the file is copied to the phone and we can go ahead and install it. Okay, so um, we will get into the uh, installer. They call it the Aroma Installer. Yeah, and you will have to go through a little survey. I said a clean install, I said before. You know, um, here, PHH, PHN. In fact, I don't use the SIM card, so I could as well skip this. You know, yesterday I selected Advanced Deep Load. I run into problem, reboot, random reboot. I selected No Deep Load. I run into a problem. So I'm gonna select No Deep Load again. I don't know what to select there. Camera during call. Uh, call recorder, that's all I need. Uh, take screenshot. No. The one UI4 camera was failing on me yesterday. Then it was on. Do you want to install Magis? No, I don't want Magis, man. Uh, even kijken. Do you want to enable secure folder? My country doesn't support it. Oh, yo guys, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for Noble Boot Animation here and I'm gonna hit next. iOS emojis, okay. So I'm just gonna install and this should go good. We formatted everything, the complete phone. Deleted everything. I thought just now that it would boot, you know. Because the video from yesterday became 40, 45 minutes. And I don't want to make such a long video about one room. For what? You know? But yeah, I, I wanted to show as well the, the fail that I got. And today I got the fail again. So, we're at 13 minutes now. 15, 16, 17 maybe with the intro and the outro. So this fil film should not become longer than about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, then it's okay. 
but not 45 minutes. That's way too long. By the way, uh, Noble or Alexis, I want to congratulate you because you were in the news. I saw that uh, XDA was in the news that you brought uh, One UI 4 to the Samsung Galaxy S9. And I was very proud to see that. I'm, I'm, I'm always proud when I see XDA in the news, you know, then I always feel good. That is as, yeah, as, as if I'm in the news, you know, <laughs> that's how I feel. But that's always the case if you are one with with something, if that thing, you know, is, is having a success, you as well feel as if you have a success. You see? What happened? Okay, we're rebooting. Bzzz. Yes. And now we should have no more reboots. Now we're gonna boot, you see? Now it's gonna boot. So you must do a clean install. Yeah, maybe the thread should be up. No, yeah. Who am I to say that? I'm not gonna interfere in how people update the thread, but all I'm saying, oh, look at that, Noble, Noble, big up, boom, boom, boom. Eh, eh, Noble Rum. Nice little boot animation. It's breathing, nice. Nicely, nicely, Noble. And after a while of booting, we will get into the setup screen. And there you are. We are being welcomed. Um, you will need an internet connection uh, to bypass this screen. Okay, without internet, you won't be able to bypass. So if you're somewhere where you have no internet yet, don't install the ROM yet. Install it when you have internet, okay? Uh, otherwise, you won't bypass. Maybe that uh, the bypass setup screen uh, tool from Airfan will work. You know, I'm not sure of from Nippon. I'm, I, I don't even know who created that tool. It was Ervan or it was Nippon. One of these two. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, mandatory. You need internet, okay? I'm gonna continue with the setup really fast. Or yeah, I can better show it. So you can see what you're gonna get. Uh, up here, you can just uh, click next. And in fact, yeah, now you can just bypass everything because Samsung already knows where you're located because your location is as well set to on automatically. You see that? So um, Samsung will uh, set up the device really nice for you. And there we are in the home screen. And this is how it looks. Tja. Samsung, eh? It's a real Samsung ROM. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about it a bit and test it maar dit is dus de samsung rom waarbij de meeste dingen goed werken um, en ook proprietary uh, dingen goed werken omdat dit zeg maar ja samsung uh, uh, poort is het is samsung firmware um, gemaakt door Samsung dus en niet door de developer. Die heeft alleen dingen aangepast zodat het allemaal werkt op elkaar. En geloof me, dat is heel veel werk. What I'm saying is that uh, this is uh, Samsung firmware, so things will, will work even better, at least if they are ported the right way to the device. You know, um, as well proprietary things, yeah, these are already in the firmware, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, I think. But I'm not sure about that, because I'm not I'm not the developer, but that's what I think. You know, when I create these custom ROMs, in fact, it's just a matter of, yeah, doing it right and then everything, you know, works good, better than ever. For instance, the camera, you know, the camera will, will give you very beautiful pictures, you see? Very nice pictures. Yo, this is Puck, how are you doing? <laughs> Let me see if the thing plays. How are you doing? You see, it plays nice, nice quality as well. You see that? You can look at oh, my 
my mustache is getting gray again. I'm gonna paint it today. Gonna paint it black. So, um, yeah, peeps. This is uh, the noble rum, a nice rum. You will be like, how to set dark mode? It's not so hard. You go here and you type dark. In my case, I'm gonna type donker. Donker. And there you can see it, donker mode. Boom. And we have black mode. Uh, I could not find the full screen gestures. I still see these three things here. I think the full screen gestures will finally then give you the One UI 4. Until now, I don't know what is One UI 4. Only thing I know is that I could do this as well with my Samsung Galaxy S9 when it was on the official stock firmware. The icons are a little bit bigger. They, are, they have the same shape. Um, yeah, they have the same colors as usual. I don't see too much innovation qua icons, uh, but that is of course not Noble's fault. That is Samsung for not being, you know, kind of innovating. Yeah. This could have been, you know, look, such a small clock, not even a nice clock out of the box i mean like you know so much space for so a little little clock then you could make this a little bit bigger though i mean like we should not copy windows you know with 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 with, with these small parts you know that we find on our tablets that we cannot tap windows is as well changing that now you know the control center they they, they change you know, it's not like uh, what we had before. What we had before was this thing. Where is it? I cannot even find it anymore. I had it here, but Windows removed it automatically. They don't want me to use it. They want you to go to, to this these kinds of settings because these you can touch easily. You see that? This is easy to touch. Better than these small lines. So, yeah. That is as well something to think about to use our space good Samsung. Get another designer, man. All these years we have the same look and feel. Samsung, do something, no man. Do something qua look and feels. This thing still looks like a baby phone. <laughs> look at these icons. <laughs> it looks like a pebbles. <laughs> it looks like, how you say that these uh, uh, Flintstones, Flintstones uh, phones, you know? I mean, like the software. It reminds me of the Flintstones, these round edges and, and the way it looks. So yeah, qua, 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 qua look and feel, Samsung did not do too much with the Android 12, really. This just looks like Android 9 to me. Qua look and feels. But of course, all the technique is uh, under the engine. And of course, it's, yeah, it's better. It's Android 12 with security patch level February. 2022 here you can see it android 12 um, google play system update september 2021 noble 2 february 2022 can you see that peeps so this is the latest samsung ram yeah and even though i'm not a samsung uh, fan I think that this is a beautiful development uh, that Noble brought to most of you that like to stay on the official side. You know, if it comes up to firmware, then this is what you should uh, install. It comes from a, yeah, a good development from a developer that has at least a picture of himself um, on the on the XDA. And I must say, <laughs> every time when I look at his picture, I see my cousin, I have cousins and family members. They look just like him, you know? So in fact, yeah, this is yeah, like family to me, even though I don't know Noble, but Noble is a guy that you can, you can trust him. You know, um, everybody can see who he is. He has his telegram room, he has his XDA, he's today in the news and things like that. So, um, 
yeah you don't have to doubt the development okay at least that's what i i, I think seriously so um yeah i i just want to say big up and thank you so much uh, i think we as well have face unlock face gezichtsherkenning you see that gezichtsherkenning boom we can put our face uh, but i'm not gonna do that but you can okay uh, onthoud dit u hebt dit nodig om uw telefoon te ongenderen ongrendelen als deze opnieuw opgestart wordt. Soms om te zorgen dat uw telefoon veilig is. Ja, veilig. So here you can put your pin or your... But I'm not gonna do that, but it works. Okay, so you as well have that. In security you can use face unlock, a fingerprint, uh, maybe your voice, I don't know. You can do that all. Okay, um, for the rest... Nice gallery, nice everything. You see, the picture, the video is playing there on its own. Very nice, looks very innovative. So that's what I'm saying. You, the innovations are on the under the engine. Peeps, uh, this is it for the Noble Rum. Um, have a nice day. Uh, enjoy uh, your day. Be be very careful here. You can see oogbescherming. Probably if you're gonna have health. You can as well measure your blood pressure and your heart rate, etc. Um, all these things I'm not going to show in this video. I just wanted to show you how to install the Noble Room. And now it's on the phone and now I'm done reviewing this room. Well, peeps, that was it for uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9 and its family. Android 12 Noble Room 2 by Alexis XDA. I want to thank you for watching. If you're going to install this room, please leave your test results in the comment section so we can learn from that. Thanks again for watching. Brooke Darlington, Netherlands, signing out.